So earlier this year, we were working on a file where we were closing on a home loan for an active duty service member. And because of logistics, they needed to use a power of attorney where their spouse was actually signing for them at closing. One of the requirements in that situation is that we have to get a letter the day of closing or an email. In this case, we had to get an email the day of closing from the service members command stating that they were, in fact, alive and well. So this wasn't a problem in this case. We knew what the guideline was. We were prepared. We had spoken with the service member. They had spoken with their command and the command was ready to send us an email the morning of closing. First thing that we did that morning was reach out to the command, remind them that we needed the email. They sent us the email. We got that email to our closing department and they signed off on that condition and we closed without a hitch. But can you imagine what would happen if you were dealing with a VA lender who wasn't aware of those guidelines and at the last minute, whenever they were trying to close or fund the loan, the closing department hit them with that condition and they wouldn't know what was going on. Your deal would be blown up or at least delayed.